Hi, this is Beth Perry at the Swilly Library. Today I want to show you how to download a chapter from an ebook. So we're going to start here at libraries.mercer.edu. This is the main Mercer Library web page. And we want to scroll down to this drop down menu here. And we want to select books. And then I'm just going to type in Craft of Research, which is the title of the book we want, and click Search. So in our results, we see there are three titles um, that are by the same author. So the one we want is the third one, this available online. The 2016 edition is the most recent. Um, and it's the only one we have available electronically. So we just want to click there. And now we want to click on the link for eBook Central Academic Complete. So there are a couple of things that you can do. You can download the whole book and you can check it out from anywhere from one to 21 days. This does require um, the Adobe Digital Editions software. And if you just need a couple of chapters, I think it's easier to just download a chapter at a time. So that's what I want to show you today. For this, we want to click on Read Online. And we're going to look for chapter one. So that should be in section one. And here it is, Thinking in Print. So I'm going to click on that, and it'll pull up that first chapter for me. So what we want to do now is go to the top where it has this PDF icon for the chapter download. So I'm going to click there. And this doesn't matter, but just um, so you know, um, McAfee uh, uses the McAfee style guide, which is based on Turabian, which is based on Chicago, and it's the notes bibliography um, edition. And I usually just try to select that anytime I have the option to do it, just to get in the habit of um, selecting the correct one, and you'll have the information there if you need it to, to cite the book. So I'll just click there and then click on continue. So now we just open our PDF. And here it is. And we have some options over here. We can go ahead and print it. We can download it. Um, so you can save it as a file. That way you can read it later. If you read it now, you can refer to it later. Um, you could print it out whenever, um, and of course you can also read it online here. But I wanted to show you how to download a chapter at a time, just because I think it gives you some more options, and it's pretty easy to do.